Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we ran into this asshole, went into the catacombs, and now we're shooting stuff. Eat that! That's neat. I, li I like the combat. guys are hanging in there. Huh. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. You're very sweet. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. A bow. Interesting. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsaid, from the town of Lagram. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. Lagram? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait. So your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of Lagram. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. Oh, so when the noble is a pretty girl, you don't take issue. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm... <laughs> Sorry if... Oh, if, he's all if, flustered. If I, uh, uh, say, uh, I don't believe we've been introduced. Emma. Another staff I'm user. Emma Milstein. 
Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. Wow, <sighs> to think I was outdone then. By a girl, no less. Oh, okay. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, Another cool! You got an orbital staff, too! Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. I don't think oh. so. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. You fell on me. Uh, Elisa. Ruwer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Reinford Company's based in Ruwer, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Oh, screw you! Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect- They can take you care You needn't to be concerned about that. That is a very impressive I boy. beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. Yeah, but that... that blade is... bigger, taller than you are. I don't think that's a very practical weapon. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver-haired girl. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? She fell on me. It was me. clearly an accident. Everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. She fell on him. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? They seem like they can take care of themselves, Mackie. There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. I see where you're coming from, but if you feel so nece... How can I put this? If you think it's so necessary that somebody go help them, then how about you go? She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat. 
much less beat her. Wow, interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl, and we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happened to that pompous ass. You can rot down here. What is your deal with him? <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. They went that direction, so let's head Looks here. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. What a nice looking treasure chest. Ooh. I should hang on to that. That Emma girl might be able to make use of it. Reviving bomb, that'll be useful. Really shouldn't be breaking pottery with a sword, even if it is the even if pottery is the mortal enemy of a swordsman, it's a good way to tear up your blade. But don't don't do that. Maybe that's just because I'm a weapons collector and I know that. No, not to do that. I mean most of my weapons, most of the swords I have, I don't think would be suited for combat. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! But I could use my turn. to shove. My turn! It's my turn! Of course, the push came to shove, I probably got my rifle. It's my turn! I mean, a weapon, a gun would be much more effective than a sword if somebody's Go! breaking into my house. Uh... Right! Ha! Leave it to me. Leave it to me. There! Together, we're unbeatable. Level up! An A plus outcome. <sighs> What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. It's that girl. 
Oh. I'm glad to see she's all right. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. You wanna stick with me then, Fee? Because I'd like to have you in my party. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Okay, you seem to be able to take care of yourself. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. Okay, she's got ninja skills. What just happened? Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Just over halfway through? Has she already been to the exit and then come back? Maybe. Just getting started. Another level up. Good, good. Levels on the board. Not across, but they're on it. Watch out, guys! Hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Uh, Rain! Wait for me! Get moving, you two. Probably the noble. Yep. That seems a bit more than he can handle. <laughs> Incredible! That was really something! Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. Did you need something? <sighs> Calm your tits, Machias. Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. Wow, you read him like a book. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. Okay, now you're being a dick. What the hell is your problem? Yeah, no, seriously, dude, you're being a dick now. You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? 
You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Ooh. Wait, what? He's a noble himself. Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? That explains a lot. Commoners he was around looked down on him because of his position. What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being bored. A fair point. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> and as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the Noble faction, led by none other than the Four Great Houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather cheap, wouldn't you say? You, you son of M Magius, don't do it! Stop it. God! I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis. Don't you think that was a little uncalled for? It was. They're both being idiots. I wasn't the one who started this. No, but you're still being a dick. Let me... You're kind of proving his point. Damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just... Leave me alone for a while. You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Eusis. Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but dragging his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Huh? Something tells me this guy doesn't care much for the nobility. You look shocked. Why? Well, you're the son of Duke Elberea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was wrong. Ah, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all. <sighs> Is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? Apparently. It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. Communism! So what are you going to do, Eusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself. But I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. Wh what? I I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. Uh, Elliot, I mean, shut I'm up. looking forward to having you on the team. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. You, sis, I got a new party member. <laughs> Let's try him out. Watch out, guys! My turn! Motivate. Uh, All right, let's do this! I'll leave it with A buff, interesting. Support. <laughs> That's it, line up. It's my turn. Daddy. I'll handle this. Rapid thrust. <laughs> what? That's a broadsword. That is Come not on. a weapon fit for fencing. You'd be better off with a rapier. 
You know, weapon designed for f fencing because it's a thrusting weapon. Give it up, everyone! Come on! Here we go! Definitely a unique combat system. I've never seen anything like this. It's my turn. I'll handle this. Airstrike and Golden Spear. Interesting. I've seen Airstrike and Golden Spear. Yeah. Powerful. There. That's that. Let's keep moving. Usus seems interesting. <laughs> he seems kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. My turn. I'll handle this. <laughs> How pathetic. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and stop. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on... Whatever this is, as I continue through this catacomb and meet more people. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph.